Hola, bienvenidos a Hot for Spanish. De nuevo, aquí estamos. Here we are again. And today, um, you're going to learn about um, how to express things you like or what you like in Spanish. And to do that, uh, we're going to use the verb gustar. The verb gustar in Spanish literally means to be pleasing to. In English, it means to like. You could think of it that way. But I call gustar the backwards verb because it's totally different um, the way you conjugate it um, in Spanish. Unlike the regular verbs that you that you've learned, you know, that have a subject pronoun like I and you and he or she or the yo or the tu, el or ella, you're going to conjugate gustar according to what follows it, or in other words, um, according to what is like. So, for example, and, oh, and also another thing, there's only two forms of gustar that you're going to worry about at this point, and that's um, the singular form, gusta, or the plural form, gustan. Now, if what is like is singular, like perhaps you like, um, to, like a, an action that you like to do, like to dance or to run, you would use the singular form, gusta. Um, but gustar takes an indirect object pronoun, which is kind of techy right now, since um, you're just learning. But um, you'll learn uh, that there's other verbs that do this also besides gustar, and you'll have those later also that you'll learn. But I'm just going to teach you how you would say I like, or you like, or he or she likes, or we like, or you all, or they like, um, how you would use it um, in English. Okay. So for example, if you want to say I like, dance. In Spanish it would be you would be saying dancing is pleasing to me. And since that's one action, you'll you'll use the singular form gusta. So you would say me gusta bailar. So dancing is pleasing to me or I like to dance. So me gusta is I like. If what you like is plural, there's more than one thing that you like. Like maybe you like um, foreign films. That would be plural, what follows gustar. So, you would say me gustan, with the N on the end, me gustan las películas extranjeras. So, foreign films are pleasing to me. So, in other words, me gusta or me gustan means I like. So, like I said, depending on what is like or what follows gustar, you would make it singular or plural. So, you could say, me gusta la pizza, singular, or me gusta bailar, I like to dance, or me gustan las películas extranjeras. Okay, then, to say you like, that would be, te gusta. So, you could say, um, te gusta el libro romántico, you like the romantic book. So, that's something singular the romantic book is pleasing to you. And if you want some if you have something plural that you like, you could say te gustan um, los gatos negros. You like black cats. Black cats are pleasing to you. So again te gusta or te gustan is you like. Then the next one, if you want to say he or she likes or you formal, referring to the usted form, like you would say, le gusta, or le gustan. So, it's for example, uh, if you say, uh, le gusta el color rojo, um, that can mean the color red is pleasing to you, the formal form, or it can be pleasing to him or her, or an it. And then to make the, if it's plural, what is liked, then you would use le gustan. Uh, le gustan las cervezas frías. Maybe uh, cold beers are pleasing to you or pleasing to him or her or it. Alright, then um, to say we like, you would use nos gusta or nos gustan. So if you want to say we like uh, rock concerts, you could say nos gustan los conciertos de rock. But maybe we like rock music, 
um, you would say nos gusta the singular form la musica rock and then the last form is uh, you all or they like which would be les gusta or les gustan so the singular form if you like something singular like um, les gusta hablar español so speaking Spanish is pleasing to you all to the, or to them so you all like speaking Spanish or they like speaking Spanish or the plural form les gustan uh, los pasteles maybe like pastries or they like pastries so pastries are pleasing to them or to you all so as you can see um, expressing like in Spanish is very easy since you only have two forms of the verb that you that you need to worry about at this point the singular gusta or the plural gustan if one is like this plural or singular and then just uh, using also the indirect object pronouns to show who it is that's doing the liking and those indirect object pronouns are me which is to me or te to you or le to you formal or to him or to her or to it nos which is to us or les which is to you all or to them so you remember that um, you never are conjugating this verb according to who is doing the liking you're conjugating as it is it as to what is liked okay so um, that's it for t this lesson, the gustar verb, liking uh, one thing or more than one thing. And uh, I'll post another video muy pronto. So in the meantime, be practicing, and we'll see you muy pronto. So, besos, gracias.